we are asked to graph the solution to the system of quadratic inequalities. To determine the solution, we solve each inequality separately, and then because we have two inequalities, the solution to the system will be the double shaded region. Looking at the first inequality, because the inequality is greater than, not greater than or equal to, the graph of the parabola will be dashed. And for the second inequality, because the inequality is less than or equal to, because of the equal part, we will have a solid parabola. For the next step, let's write the corresponding quadratic functions. So for the first inequality, the corresponding quadratic function is y equals the quantity x minus two squared plus two. And for the second inequality, the corresponding quadratic function is y equals the opposite of the quantity x minus one squared plus seven. And again, when we graph these, remember the first parabola is going to be dashed, and the second parabola will be solid. Now looking at the form of the quadratic equations here, notice how they are in vertex form, sometimes referred to as standard form, which is y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, where if a is positive, the parabola opens up. If a is negative, the parabola opens down, and the vertex is h comma k. And notice how to identify the value of h, we do need subtraction here, or we can just think of if we have subtraction here, h is positive. If we have addition here, h is negative. Let's go ahead and graph this first parabola, or notice how a is equal to one, which means the parabola opens up. And now to identify the values of h and k, which will give us the coordinates of the vertex. Notice because we have x, because we have x minus two, h is positive two. And because we have plus two on the end here, and we have plus k here, k is positive two as well. And because we know the axis of symmetry passes through the vertex, we know the axis of symmetry, or just the axis, has the equation x equals two. Let's go ahead and plot the vertex and sketch the axis of symmetry. So again, the vertex is two comma two, this point here. And we know the axis of symmetry passes through the vertex. To make an accurate graph of this quadratic function, let's find some additional points. Let's find the vertical or y-intercept. Every point on the vertical axis has an x-coordinate of zero, which is why we set x equal to zero to find the y-intercept or vertical intercept. So if we set x equal to zero, we have y equals the quantity zero minus two squared plus two, which gives us y equals the square of negative two plus two, giving us y equals, the square of negative two is four, four plus two is equal to six, and therefore the vertical intercept is the ordered pair of zero comma six. Let's plot this on the coordinate plane. Zero comma six is here. But because we have the axis of symmetry, we know there's a corresponding point on the right side of the axis of symmetry, and since this vertical intercept is two units to the left of the axis of symmetry, there's a corresponding point two units to the right of the axis of symmetry, which is this point here. So by having these three points, we can now make an accurate graph of the first quadratic function, but remember it is going to be a dashed parabola. So let's go ahead and graph the parabola, which looks something like this. But remember we do have an inequality, and because it's y is greater than the quantity x minus two squared plus two, we are going to shade above the vertex, or in this case, inside the parabola which means this region here is the solution to the first quadratic inequality. But let's actually select a test point just to verify we have shaded the correct region. To do this, we select a point in the shaded region to make sure it does satisfy the original inequality. For example, let's use the point two comma three, this point here, which is in the shaded region. So using the point two comma three, we substitute two for x and three for y back into the original inequality, which gives us three is greater than the quantity two minus two squared plus two. Again, we substituted three for y and two for x, and now we need to see if this is true or false. Simplifying on the right, two minus two is zero, the square of zero is zero, zero plus two is two, three greater than two is true, which means we do have the solution correct for the first quadratic inequality. And now we do the same for the second quadratic inequality, and then the solution to the system will be the double shaded region. 
So looking at the corresponding quadratic function for the second inequality, notice a is negative one, which means the parabola opens down this time. And now let's find the vertex, which is h comma k. Notice because we have x minus one in the parentheses, h is positive one. And because we have plus seven on the end, k is positive seven. And again, because the axis of symmetry passes through the vertex, we know the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals positive one. And before we graph this, let's also determine the y-intercept or vertical intercept of this quadratic function. Again, we find the y-intercept by setting x equal to zero, and then determining the value of y. So subbing in zero for x, we have y equals the opposite of the quantity zero minus one squared plus seven. Simplifying, inside the parentheses here we have negative one. The square of negative one is positive one, but we have a negative sign here, and therefore this simplifies to negative one plus seven, which does equal six. So the y-intercept for the second parabola is the same as the y-intercept of the first. So let's first plot the vertex of one comma seven, which is here in green. Let's sketch the axis of symmetry in green. And then we know the vertical intercept is zero comma six, which is this point here. This point is one unit to the left of the axis of symmetry, which there must be a corresponding point one unit to the right of the axis of symmetry, which is here. And now we can graph the second parabola, but again remember this is going to be a solid graph or a solid parabola, which will look something like this. And now we need to determine whether we shade inside the parabola or outside the parabola or below or above the vertex. So going back to the original inequality, because we have y is less than or equal to, we are going to shade below the vertex or inside the parabola and therefore this is the solution to the second quadratic inequality. So it does appear as if the solution is going to be this double shaded region here, but before we conclude this, let's verify the solution to the second quadratic inequality by selecting a test point. We can select any point in the green shaded region. Let's select the point zero comma zero, which is the origin. So we will substitute zero for x and zero for y and see if it satisfies the second inequality. Performing the substitution gives us zero less than or equal to the opposite of the quantity zero minus one squared plus seven. Simplifying on the left, the square of negative one is one, and then we have a negative sign here, so we have negative one plus seven, which is six. Zero less than or equal to six is true, which means we did graph the solution to the second inequality correctly, and now to find the solution to the system, we look for the double shaded region, which we can see is this region here bounded by the two parabolas. So the final solution to the system is just this overlapping region here. I hope you found this helpful.